notice that. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon. My name is Adeshewa Josh. I'm a news anchor, producer, amongst many other things that I do, and I'm still discovering them. Um, I'm very honored to be here. I met Mr. Dickbo a couple of years ago through Pastor Gide George, uh, this time around Global Avers Church. And um, every now and then I get that invitation to do, uh, I think he's invited me to one financial seminar or thereabouts, you know, a couple of times. And I just never, I just couldn't make it. And I was just hustling on the street and stuff. So. But um, a couple of days ago, I got um, an email saying, oh, I would like you to review this book and all of that. And hey, me, okay. Um, that's nice. But I, I'd like to make a confession. I, I think I have a couple of dick balls in my life. So when I got that mail, I was actually thinking of another dick ball. I'm so sorry. But when I read the book, I was like, whichever dick ball this falls on, I, this book is... I've never read a book like this before. Very simple, very direct, very practicable. I'd like to go straight to what I wrote about this book. Because I, I, have you read the book? Has anybody here read the book? Oh, okay, so we kind of like have a privilege to. By God's grace, I'm going to buy a few copies for my friends. Um, so that they can also benefit. I'm actually talking a bit scattered because I'm looking for what I wrote <laughs> about the book so I can be as precise as possible. Okay. After reading the book, um, I'm not yet 30. I'll be 30 very soon. But after reading the book, it made me start to think about the future of my finances. By God's grace, uh, before I got to this stage of my life, I learned a few things from the people that God put in my life, including Pastor Jide John. Please put your hands together for him. <laughs> I've just been very privileged all my life. But after reading this book, like I keep saying, and honestly, I pray and I hope that everybody will get a copy. Please put your hands together for Mr. Dupont. Does anyone please wave? A lot of people still don't know who you are. <laughs> All right, so I was telling them that when you sent me that mail, I wasn't sure who Dick was sent it to me. But, you know, I read the book and honestly, I'm going to read it again and again and again because it has principles that will honestly save you the heartache of either borrowing money for anything in the nearest future. And this, I think, is very, very important. I have seen ladies, and I'm so sorry I had to go for the ladies because... Somebody told me that boyfriend is not uh, financial insurance. It used to be. But a guy wouldn't even date you anymore if you don't know what you're doing financially. He wouldn't even ask you out. I know some of those men have grown so lazy. Come on, this is Africa. But seriously, if you don't know how to manage your finances, forget it, he's not even going to ask you. So... I have a few things to say about Mr. Digbo. Again, you already know that he's the founder of Financial Freedom Academy, Nigeria's leading financial education and life planning organization. He's a former banker with experience in treasury operations and strategic planning, a financial life planner, personal coach, entrepreneur, motivator, with a passion and avid commitment to seeing people achieve their life financial goals. That explains why he among other things, wrote this book. Now, this is what I wrote about the book. Very brief, very direct, and I hope I'm able to nail it right there. I said it is liberating. Everyone can demystifies the perceived rigor of wealth creation. Totally practical. Capable of putting food on the table of the poorest man in the world. Let me explain. When I go around the streets of Lagos and I have an opportunity to travel a little bit in my little life, I have seen that everybody gets something. Believe me, everybody receives something. The beggar on the street, at all, at all, in fact, the, the kind of money they make every day, if they're able to save something out of it, 
they probably will end up richer than you that go to work every day. So what are we saying here? Sometimes I'm compelled to give someone who comes to beg for money from, from me, I give them money. But sometimes I'm so pissed off because I see the same person begging every day. How come you're not able to put aside what you get from the people you beg from every day and say, okay, I will beg for six months and after six months I'll start to sell pure water. <laughs> this book will put food on the table of the poorest man if you follow the principles here. It's just going to be a matter of time and discipline. I understand that if food is on your table, you're at least able to function. If you can function, you can think. And if you can think, you can come up with solutions. And that begins to change your life. I am opportunity to produce a show called Bank of Industry Weekly. It deals with uh, small businesses sponsored by the Bank of Industry. And I have an opportunity to see people turn their lives around with the little, the, the most ignorant, the, the kind of ideas you can just say, oh, what beg you. So there is no excuse whatsoever for consistent, persistent begging. To stop it. It has to stop. Everybody gets something. If you get something, you have to be able to put something away from what you get. The details and simplicity embedded in this book will make anyone's financial future a walk through the rose garden if the principles are applied. That is the caveat. I'm not saying that the moment you pick up this book, everything in your life will turn around. But I'm saying that if you apply the principles in this book, all the things I read, you read that one at my head almost shifted from front to back. All the quadrants, I almost died. Simplified, right there in this book. Ladies and gentlemen, pick for yourself, pick for your family members, your friends and your frenemies. It will go a long way to bless them. Thank you.